Nintendo and Time for Quizzy and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to build one of the world's smallest houses. This is not the smallest because people have built smaller houses, but this is, has um, three um, chests of storage. The anvil, under chest, crafting table, there's a chest down there, if I can get to this spot, reach it, yeah right there, there's a the furnace, there's a pumpkin for lighting, and a door, and for a house, I guess it kind of classifies for a house as you need some storage, you need a craft table, you need a furnace, and you need a door and a bed for it to classify as a house, and so it has all the classifying needs, but I just added some more things, so that's why this is somewhat big. And so I'm going to teach you how to build this. Yay! No gunshots, but they get in low, 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 low. Okay, guys, so the first step is to dig down right here, here, three blocks, these three blocks right here, and three blocks here, one block here, and one block here. I had to mark it out just so I make sure I got right because I failed last time. Okay guys, so now we're going to be placing the bed, the chest, and the anvil. So we're going to start off by going right down here and placing the chest right here. A block here and here. Placing the bed right there and destroying these two blocks. Placing that here, there, and just covering up all this extra stuff right there. So now we have this. And then right here, we place a anvil right there there and another chest right there and that is the second step complete the next step, step is really simple but it is still really necessary it's going to be placing the furnace and the crafting table and you just place the furnace right there and shift cloth and crafting table right there and there's also supposed to be a torch right on the crafting table for lighting but we also have a jack o lantern for lighting too next step I'm going to be placing the ender chest and the jack-o-lantern and right here we're going to be placing the jack-o-lantern because just just because more light I guess I don't know and then we're going to be placing the ender chest right there and if you don't know how to get the ender chest right there without opening the GOI you just shift and click um so yeah that's step four next step is to place the um enchantment table I totally forgot about this one and just place it right there um, so it's easy accessible. Everything is accessible easily from right anywhere in the house. And I just get into the, just one little spot to get that chest, but I can get it right now. So that's the next step, and we'll go on to the next step. The next step is okay. to a farm, and this might sound like a weird thing, but I decided why not put a piece of wheat in the house. So you want to go like this and place a bucket of water right there. And corner the material, and you just want to pull with that, put the place that set up there, and we grow it. So this has the most, a lot of stuff in the tiny little bit of area, which I find extremely useful. Which we could also put something right there because it's also accessible, so we can make the house even smaller. But that's all we have for right now. Okay, guys. So the last step is the outside. And um, this is a really easy bit. So you, put, you come in here to place the door, come inside. I also decided to say this is a spacious small house. So I mean, I could have easily made this much smaller. I may even do a video on a much smaller house, but this is a spacious, spacious tiny house. Um, so yeah, then what we want to do is we want to place glass here, over the wheat, there, here, here, and here. And this is also not very detailed because of the whole point of me trying to. And then if we place that there, and I have them right here. And we place these right here. Because I just wanted to keep it small so there's not much design into the house at all. And it's just a simple, small, spacious house. And there we have it. This is the small house, and I'm going to show you that I can reach every single thing in this house. So we get to that right point corner right there, I can hit the large chest. Right here, I can hit that, I can get that, I can get the wheat. But I'm creative, so that didn't really work. Um, crafting table, furnace, under chest, jack-o'-lantern, really don't need that, but anvil I can open. 
I can open the door. Uh, I can sleep in this house without dying. Uh, I'll show you that right now. Such a night and sleep. As you can see, I can sleep in this house. And when I wake up, I won't die with something crushing on my head. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, so that's the final house. I forgot one last step. Um, if you didn't happen, um, is to subscribe. Uh, also comment down below other um, tutorials I should do and stuff like that. Um, also leave a like and this is all part of the tutorial. If you don't do this, you won't. No, seriously. It's your own choice. I'm not forcing you to subscribe or anything like that. It would just be a cool idea if you want to keep up to date. I do tutorials every single week. And that's the cool bit. And also, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but...